I've made a pack of 24 volt battery cell and I needed something to charge it. My IMAX would charge but it wouldn't take it to the max. So then I decide to construct this. It's a 150 watts DC to DC, 10 to 32 volts to 12 to 35 step up boost converter. I constructed this and put a volt a meter on it so that I could charge my 24 volt battery pack. Before we continue, if you're new to this channel, please like, comment, subscribe, click on the bell icon so you'll be notified of further videos. Everything I show in this video, I would have a link in the description below. If you purchase from my link, I'll get a small commission at no extra cost to you, which would help the channel go a long way. I constructed this to charge the 24 volt battery, but I ran into problems, which it charged the battery, but when the battery was fully charged and the battery began reversing the voltage back. I used this power supply here with that adjustable. This is a 12 volt, 6 amp power supply. But I went through this up here to adjust it to whatever voltage I want to put into the I adjusted it so it would put the right voltage into this but when this reach to the 24 or 25 volts I stepped out and when I came back I smelled something burning time I touch these whole cables were hot and it burned a capacitor in my power supply which it reverse the current this is it i took out well when that happened to this i put it on another homemade power supply i have on the other side and that stopped squealing and the capacitor on this blowed so I took out everything on it. I see if in case this one go bad, at least I would have parts to repair it. What I'm trying to tell you all is this is all well and good. If you're charging a battery, you would have to keep an eye on it. But if you need something to charge your battery, it's better to get one with constant voltage and constant current. Which means it would have two of these ports. It would have two of these ports. One for voltage and one for current. 
Okay, when the battery reaches its capacity, the constant current would put this off. But if you have one just with the voltage, when the battery reaches its capacity, it will continue pumping current in the battery. Now, if the battery's voltage is higher than what is going in, you find it will start going back into it. So I decided to make a video so that, that y'all won't make the mistakes that I did. Now, in constructing this, it's marked in and out. The two positives is on the outer side. The two negatives is on the inner side. The port here is to adjust whatever voltage you want. Now, something I did is to put a resistor right here <clears throat> so when I charge in the current won't go back and feed this now I haven't tried it out or tested to see when it's reversing the current what voltage I'd be getting up here but it's enough voltage to burn your leads and you find your power supply would be fighting your power supply putting out while this is sending current into your power supply so it would be fighting something will go the other thing is whenever you all are using these I would say bare bone units always have safety glasses if you don't have glasses on have safety glasses because when these capacitors blow they will hurt you or take out your eye you would swear somebody boosts a shot at you so when working with these bare bone units have your PPE on now I won't go into how I construct this if you all want to know how I construct it leave it in the description below I'll disassemble it and reassemble I put this knob here instead of using I didn't take out this port instead of using a screwdriver here I would just adjust the voltage right here Okay, this is it so instead I use this I'm going to be using that to increase the current Now the mistake I did, instead of putting the resistor here, I should have put the resistor inside here, at the back of this. Because with the resistor here, whatever voltage is showing here, whatever output voltage is showing here, 
if you take the measurement here it would be less because of the resistor this is it for now if you find this video was helpful please like comment subscribe click on the bell icon so you'll be notified of further videos i'll put a link to this in the description if you purchase from me i'll get a small commission at no extra cost to you i also have a donation list in the description if you would like to donate please use the link in the description thank you and goodbye